Welcome, welcome, patrons. Remember when I did lore videos? Neither do I. Uh, anyway, let's finish off the series on the old gods with perhaps the most well-known, the Dragon of Silence, Dumat. The Old God. Dumat was known as the most powerful and first of the old gods, the Dragon of Silence. Pretty much everything that the old gods were involved in, Dumat seemed to be the first or most prominent to do so. He led the Neuromedians to worship the old gods in exchange for making them dreamers, which led to the original sin against the Maker, who then cast him down and the other old gods beneath the earth for their crimes. He also is said to be responsible for teaching those same people to become blood mages and bring blood magic into Thetis. When the worship of Dumat was large in Deventer, the holiday Phanalis was made in his honor, which in modern Thetis is now known as All Souls Day, which is when Thetis takes a day to remember the dead. It is assumed that his followers had some fear of him, as when the city of Berendor disappeared, it was assumed that Dumat had lost favor with them. Souls go on to say that the city was buried in volcanic ash, similar to the real world city of Pompeii. Although in this fantasy setting, it's unknown if the old god actually caused the eruption or if it was just a terrible natural accident. Now, something to touch on before I really dive into this is that the previous old gods had so little to their worship in Deventer that I had like one or two sentences at best, but Dumont has a bit more. However, it's really just fragments scattered across the game. As of writing this, there really isn't a set explanation on how the worship of the Dumont or really any of the old gods in general work. So this is really gonna be more of a list of various aspects to Dumont's cult rather than something that really makes sense. Dumont and probably the other gods as well used to be able to talk to their worshippers, although I, I believe they only really bothered to talk to the head of their cults. Crypheus described this as being able to hear whispers that would speak commands to him. At one point, Devinder would build a large shrine to Dumont in Orlay that Crypheus would later use as some sort of base. Worshippers would often bring offerings to Dumont, although what it was is unknown. However, we do kind of have a clue to this, thanks to Dragon Age 2. In a legacy DLC, there is a side quest where you collect four objects that you need to bring to a shrine to Demot. The four objects are a crown, a sacrificial dagger, a ritual scroll, and a sacred urn. Each object has a note on it that involves a ritual to be done at the altar. Now, the idol at the altar itself is odd in that it's this, like, frog man thing. The same idol is used in various places in the game, like the pride demon that taught Meryl blood magic and at the end of the Knight's Tomb in Dragon Age Inquisition. And it has a few other appearances as well, although I can't say if this is all supposed to be connected to Dumont or if this is just a case of a reused asset. There is an object called the Claws of Dumont that Crypheus used to sacrifice elves in a blood magic ritual, although while the goal was to reinforce the worship of the old gods in Dumont, I don't believe this was a common practice, as it seems the claws were created by Corypheus. In the Fated Inquisition, there is also an inscription. Now, it's unknown if this is part of the Verses of Dumont, which was a central text of the Old God religion. Look upon the Temple of Dumont, God of Silence, who speaks to the faithful in his dreams. No words of desire may sway his will. No cry of valor may stand against him, for his silence conquers all, and his secrets are shared only with the worthy. Look upon the temple of Dumat and fear him. Like the other old gods, his high priest was called to break into the Golden City. The man, named Sethius Amladaris, would take on the pseudonym Conductor of Silence during the planning of the ritual so as not to reveal his true name. The exact history is unknown here, but the man would take on the name Corypheus before breaking into the Golden City and become twisted. About 10 years or so after the end of the first blight, he would then be imprisoned using Dumat's blood in the Vimark Mountains by the Grey Wardens. Now, the history from here on out involves more of Corypheus and Dumont, but for those unaware of the series, Corypheus would appear in the Dragon Age 2 DLC Legacy as the final boss and the main antagonist of Inquisition, where he would call out to Dumont for help, but hear nothing but silence. There is also a constellation that is associated with Dumont called Silentier. The exact image of the constellation is debated, with some saying that it is a dragon in flight, while others saying that it is a man with a wand and a horn. The Archdemon Dumont would awaken in negative 395 Ancient to start the very first Blight. It was considered the worst of the Blights, destroying almost all of the Dwarven Empire and devastating the land. At one point in negative 305 Ancient, Dumont was killed, which was cause of some celebration before he rose again. It would take some time before scholars figured out how the Archdemon was able to be reborn again and again. The first Blight would ravage Thetis for almost 200 years, finally ending in the Battle of the Silent Plains in negative 203 Ancient with the newly created Grey Wardens. It's unknown who killed the Archdemon Dumont. 
Inlore scholars are unsure what came first, the Darkspawn or the Archdemon, although if Dumont was tainted first, we do not know how he was tainted. After he was defeated, an unknown Grey Warden Smith created two weapons, Dumont's Claw and Dumont's Spine, which you can find in Dragon Age Origins. While it's said to be made from his bones, its authenticity is debated. The Theory As with all the other videos in this series, if it's true that the Old Gods were once connected to the Elven Gods, who would Dumont be connected to? Mythal. Yes, I know Mythal doesn't really make much sense in this series, as she was not only killed, but not locked away with the other gods. But I left out one small tidbit of information regarding Silent Ear. In the Codex, it's also mentioned that the figure was originally holding scales and would therefore point to originally being Mythal, but even that is debated in lore. Other than Falon Din and Lusicon, this is the only other time an Old God and an Elvagon are connected directly. Other than that one point, however, I'm not really sure how to connect the two, other than the obvious leadership position. Morgan was taught a blood magic ritual by Flemeth possessed by a piece of Mythal, so perhaps maybe similar to how Dumont taught the early Tavengers, but this is so stretching it, I, I wouldn't even count that. Falon Din This may seem like a stretch at first, but consider this. Dumont's unusual domain of silence is often taken in the game to mean the silence of death. As Falon Din is the elven god of the dead and fortune, it would match very neatly together. If we also want to go into the tinfoil theory, in the Temple of Mithal, Solus will shit-talk Falon Din, saying that he was extremely vain with an appetite for adulation. As one of the other motivations we know for Demot is to gain worshippers, they also seem to have similar goals. Which, that being said, that's a pretty common goal, so that's kind of a stretch, but it's still a possibility. Dirthamon. This connection is just taking the silence as more the silence of secrets than it is the silence of death. While Dumont is given more connection to death, there are places that connect him with secrets as well. Elgarnon. His main connection is being the leader of the Evanerus. Uh, as his domain is more vengeance and wrath, I could also see that coming into play, but that's all I got for Elgarnon. Um, <laughs> this one's one of the weaker ones. But also, the other theory. I feel like I would be doing you a disservice if I didn't mention one of the most popular fan theories regarding Dumont. But to understand it, I need to remind you of the ending of Dragon Age Origins. As you either remember or have heard, Grey Wardens kill Archdemons by bringing the soul of the Old God into them, which destroys them both. However, in the twist ending of the game, Morrigan knows a ritual to help you survive. If she is impregnated by a newly tainted Warden, she can create a child that will bring the soul into them and survive. Going forward into Inquisition, we also know that the child will be mostly normal, but will have some sort of unusual powers, knowledge, and even odd dreams, per the one line from Kieran. The fans have dubbed this the Old God Baby, or OGB. Now, Dumont was killed in negative 203 Ancient. While in lore the exact date is unknown, it was around this time when the great prophet and bride of the maker, Andraste, was believed to be born. I'll have to get more into her in a later video, but there is a decent possibility that Andraste's powers were perhaps because she was an OGB, specifically carrying the soul of Dumont. This is further backed up by the fact that we don't know who killed Dumont, while many of the other old gods have at least legends on who they were killed by. Now, to have this happen, there was likely a lot of influence by someone or something, a lot of you are going to jump to Flemeth as an answer, but remember that this is almost 500 years before her birth. The fragment of Mythal that would go to possess her is another answer, and honestly, it could just be a mage from Deventer who wanted the soul for reasons unknown. Maybe this is how it was created and Flemeth just telling this to Morgan? I'm not sure. Either way, if this is true, I don't know what happened to the soul. Either it was taken like Kieran's, it was destroyed when Andraste died, or it somehow still lingers, if this theory is even correct. And that, dear patrons, is all that I know on Dumont. At least for now. I do have a feeling that when we come to Dragon Age 4, we'll be learning a lot more on not only Dumont, but the nature of the old gods as well. If you still have lingering questions, proof that I'm wrong, comments about your own fan theory. Feel free to tweet me at Echo on Twitter, or send a PM to user Gillanon on Reddit. Dresh all.